So now a more interesting routing policy, it's called weighted. And weighted controls the percentage of the request that will go to specific endpoints. To be concrete and visual, we have root 53, and we're going to assign different IP addresses, maybe linked to EC2 instances, and we're going to assign weight, so 70, 20, and 10. By the way, the sum does not have to be 100, it's just me who chooses easy number, but whatever weight you put, whatever the sum is, it'll just do the average and figure out a percentage from it. So what we mean from these weights is that now, root 53 will send 70% of the answers to be back from this EC2 instance, while it will send 20% of the answer back from the second one and 10% of the answer back to the third one. What this means is that now our clients will send 70% of the traffic to the first instance, 20% of the traffic to the second instance, and 10% um, of the traffic to the last instance. So that's really helpful to start basically assigning different weights to different parts. So what we do to do this, well, for example, you deploy a new application version and you wanted to test only 1% of the traffic on this new app version, for example, then that's a nice way to do it with Route 53, or it's helpful to split traffic between two regions, and this is super good cool because you can also associate this with health checks. So if one EC2 instance is not working properly, no traffic will be sent to it. So let's have a look at how this works in the console. I'm going to create a new record set and I'll call this one weighted. And here I'm going to set different values. So the first value I'm going to set is the one from EU West 1A, which is Ireland. And then I'm going to say the routing policy is weighted. Weighted why? Because we're going to be able to assign weights. So we'll say this one is going to be 70. And we'll set the ID, my Ireland data center. But you could set this to an arbitrary linked number, for example, 700. So 70 is fine. And here you could associate with a health check, but for now we'll leave it as no. All right, we've created a weight. But now the cool thing is that we can recreate another record set on the same uh, name, so weighted.stefanshear.com. But now the value is going to be something else maybe US East one, and I'll just paste this here. And here we go. Now again, I will say that the routing policy is weighted. And this time the weight is going to be 20. And the ID is going to be US, whatever you want to set really. Click on create. And so the cool thing we see now in the bottom is that our two records right here are added in two different rows. And they basically point to different values. And at the right hand side, we can see the weight as a column right here. And at the top right hand side, we can see the ID we, allow, uh, we set to these records. So finally, we can set another weight record. So I'll say weighted, and the value is going to be uh, my Tokyo instance. So I'll copy this IP and paste the value in, excellent. And the random policy is weighted, and the weight is going to be 10, and I'll call it Tokyo. Excellent, click on create. And now what we get out of it is three different records in here that point to three different instances. So now I know you're dying to do it. Let's try this URL. So let's try weighted.stefan.teacher.com. And here we get an answer from US East 1A. And so if I refresh, I'm always going to be redirected to US East 1A. But when the TTL is gone, so when 300 seconds pass, I did not change the TTL, so it's going to be longer to wait, I will resolve to a new IP. And the idea is that thanks to the weight, I have 70% chance of landing on Ireland, 10% chance of landing on Tokyo, and 20% chance of landing in the US. You could also take this DNS name and use dig to query it and see what you get back. In this case, basically what we're going to get back from it is only one IP, so we're not aware that there is any weight applied, we'll just get back one IP. And this IP, if you remember, is from Ireland. And so the idea here is that the root 53 will do uh, serve the answers based on the weights. And so from a client side perspective, we're not aware that there are multiple IPs in the backend.